Okay, Nico 3 here. I'm gonna go through some mail today. Um, we got a lot of stuff to get through. Um, this is definitely backed up. I've been just, I haven't had a lot of time for the hobby lately. Um, all my box breaks have been at night pretty much. So we'll, we'll just go through these. Um, my hands are kind of close to the camera. I don't know, I still have a lot of room to push these back. But I've got some more uh, packages in this box over here. Some of these are old. I just haven't gotten to them. I've got a ton of cards to send off to PSA as well. Um, I'm going to do a video. I still need to do one or two of my shop, and then I want to do one uh, prepping for PSA. Bowman Chrome Odell Beckham Jr., that's blue. Blue's are 199 Yeah, 199 on that one. That's a nice one. Um, this set looks pretty easy. The centering looks 60-40. That could be a problem. So I don't know if I'll send this in just because of the centering I see. But uh, not sure yet. So this might be a long video. I'm just gonna go through this now, talk about some of the sets. Um, okay, that's just some base. SPX, Allen Robinson. I've got some of this coming in. Um, I opened up a case in the summer and I had pretty, I had a lot of fun with it. So. We'll try, uh, I think I have 16 boxes coming up. I'll, I'll break a few and see if I like it still. <laughs> um, I definitely like SP Authentic more, but I, I love SPX too. This is Allen Ramos and 425. This is red. They have blue versions to 50 and then greens to 10, I think. So they they uh, implemented the uh, PMG format for SPX. I don't know if everybody knew that. Let's make a stack over there. I'll have to go through these later. Uh, some of these I opened up. Already at my office. Jeez. Is that one bit open or not? Or is it just ravaged from the mail? Looks like we got a pulsar or something. That's cool. That's a Peyton Manning 14 Bowman Chrome Pulsar Refractor. And if you watch my breaks, I was 271. It's kind of an odd number, but cool card. That's sweet. That is a Teddy Bridgewater Tops, and um, it's a sticker, but it's the uh, I think it's the variation auto. I'm not sure, but Teddy Bridgewater. I think this was forty bucks. Let's see. We'll do this one. That's cool. Uh, Matt Stafford, that's a 4,000 yard club. That's the uh, red refractor version to 99. Um, it was like 30 bucks. I just thought it was, I, I open a lot of chrome and I know how tough it is to pull something like this. I guess I just thought it was rare and I, I bid on it and I won. Uh, I'll probably put that in my store. I'm not a Stafford guy. I'm not against Stafford, I just don't collect him much. Um, these are some triple threads. I bought these. I won both auctions, then he just combined it and I paid. Uh, Brandon Cooks, um, not, I don't know about Triple Threads. I opened a box the other day and uh, the stickers are so ugly in it. That huge foil. That one's that one's uglier than that one. That's just the basic tops one that says uh, certified issue. But that's Alan Robinson patch to 50 and Cooks is to a 99. So. Those were cheap. I, I don't think... I, actually, I, I know that Triple Threads doesn't sell very well in the secondary market for whatever reason. <clears throat> That's nasty. So I've opened up a ton of finest this year. I, th I think I'm about done. I've got about 10 boxes left. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might just sell the rest of the finest. I'm, do I'm done with Strata. I'm um, not a huge Strata guy. This is a blue Beckham Jr. and these these blues are pretty tough to pull. You get one colored refractor per box, so to actually pull Beckham Jr. and that's a tough pull. So that's a nice one. Not that I pulled it, I I had to buy it, but I've I've pulled some pretty nice blue ones. Oh, that's 
nasty. Sealed your eyes for this one. This card's cool. SPX Odo Beckham Jr. This is the blue version. It's out of 50, 43 of 50. And it's got a nasty patch. That's really cool. It's a thick looking patch. But, card number 62. You know what's funny about Upper Deck cards still? That's the old CEO who passed away. I think he passed away two years ago. They still print his name on the back of their cards. But, that's a nice Beckham Jr. It's a 50. So yeah, this might be dominated by Beckham Jr. And yeah, it's probably the wrong time to buy. I don't know. That card's cool, huh? Nastiness is flowing now. Bridgewater Finest. This is the blue version. These are case hits. Any auto like this that isn't the jersey is a is a uh, case hit. You get uh, one per eight boxes. And this one's there's only twenty five. It's a little print run. Nine of twenty five. Teddy Bridgewater. So that'll go to PSA. These cards are very easy to grade. Um, let's keep it flowing. I might just open all my mail. It might be like a 40 minute video, but I, I don't know. I want to just do it all at once so I can get these cards out to PSA. Here's some more nastiness. Beckham Jr., that's fine as gold. Those are to 75. So that's the 75 version. Nice looking card. Yeah, this, this was a lot. I don't know how that got in there. A season ticket base of Brandon Marshall. Uh, Michael Vick. That's the uh, SPX Gold. That's the 250. Um, this is one of my favorite cards of all time. I just love the, the SPX 2001 design. I also think the old stickers were a lot better looking when they just printed it on white. Instead of having like the, the hologram and the reflection. But that's a cool Vic. That's the gold version. 2001 SPX had gold and blue. I've talked about that a lot in my videos, but some people don't know that, I guess. Um, this is an Eli. Obviously, these were all from the same seller. Let me get this tape off here. It's an Eli 2004 SPX. This is probably the most sensitive SPX set of all time. The white chipping on these is just almost every issue you see of this card will have the white chipping. So that's why I've paid a premium for um, graded cards like Eli and Fitzgerald from this year just because I know how tough they are to grade um, just by looking at the white on these corners I can tell this would probably be like a 7 7.5 seven, maybe so um, I'll either just get it slabbed and keep it for PC or I'll just put it in the store and then Bush Contenders at, at one time this this isn't this isn't numbered by the factory but it's a print run of 6.45 when this card came out in 2006 um, I think it was a $350 card so I picked this up for 20 bucks. He's still a solid player. And I've always been a fan of this card. It's cool. I like 2006 Contenders. That set's kind of gone gone to <laughs> gone to hell. I mean, there's most of the 2006 rookies didn't pan out. So that's kind of hurt box price. I think you can get a box of this for like 30 bucks or something, which is crazy. Uh, this is love this card. This is this might be my favorite set of all time too. 2001 SP Authentic Breeze. Um, one problem with these cards is the surface. If you look to the left right here, you can see little white dots. And I don't know how that happened in the pack or what, but a lot of these 01 SP Authentic cards have that problem, so this probably won't get slabbed. And this also has it right there, too. The surface problems. <coughs> so I'll probably just put this to the PC. Love the patch on it. And it's out of 800, so it's pretty cool. Man, we're, we're barely making a dent right now. That's nasty. <laughs> That's the gold one. Odell Beckham Jr. This is one I opened at the office and I, I put that blue tape on there. That's my uh, signature. But uh, that's a Beckham Jr. gold. This is expensive, like 145 I think. So I had to overpay a little bit, but they don't pop up that much. And I think it's a good card to hold on to for a while. He's a dynamic player. And it's out of 50, so 26 of 50 on the, on the Beckham Jr. gold. That'll be going to PSA. 
And then let's do this one. Now we got the red. So the, the red's to 50. Beckham Jr. Finest Red. So I've got those three. I think there's a couple more I need to get from Finest. 28 of 50. Beckham Jr. Nice. That's a pink one. <laughs> We're going crazy with Beckham Juniors today. Um, that's pink. Those are $3.99. Nice card. Let's let's check the centering. It looks fine to me on, on this one. It looks 50-50 pretty much. Nice one. Bubbles. Love these Bubbles cards. These are to 99 um, Blake Bortles to 99 85 of 99 Bortles, Bubbles. Let's do this envelope. Um, this might be an invoice for... Yeah, this is just paper. I don't think there's a card in there. That's from my uh, wholesale website. It's probably a, a receipt or something. That one's already been cut. <laughs> uh... Golden Tate for Steve. I'm just kidding. Now oh, this one's from Michael. Hey Michael, thanks for the Vic too. He's all right. So I, I bought this for twenty bucks. Shipped. Bubbles Cooks sticker out of ninety nine from Michael. He he pulled it in his box. That's Eastern CT Sports Cards. He's he's got a good channel. And then I he threw this Vic in. Tops Gold to twenty fourteen. Michael Vic. So that's pretty cool. I, I don't have that either. So. Thanks a lot, buddy. Let's get more packages going. <laughs> That's cool. Sepia, Brandon Cooks. These are 99, pretty tough pulls as well. You probably get three per case, I'd say. So Sepia Cooks to 99 and that one. Cooks. This is the base auto. This was like 12 bucks. And I've pulled the refractor to 150, but not the base. And obviously, I PC Cooks. I'm a Saints fan. So that's a nice one to pick up. Here we go. More uh, Beckham. It's a pink, three ninety nine, and the centering looks pretty nice on that one too. And then, hmm, I didn't buy that. He must have thrown that in. Cool. I'll have to give him a send him a message. Very well packaged. This is Fort Knox right here, boys. not coming out without a fight. I think we got it. Nice card too. So I'll probably open, I don't know, 70 boxes of chrome now. And I haven't hit one Beckham Jr., just the regular refractor. So I bought it for 10 bucks. Called it a day. <laughs> Looks like a five star card. There it is. Oh, it's, it's Prime. Uh, Tops Prime Beckham. Nice selection of swatches there to 75. Love Tops Prime this year. I think um, boxes right now on Tops Prime are down to like, I don't know, 45, 50 bucks on, on Blowout, which is a great price for that. Uh, 
Uh, this is a camo Beckham Jr. That's out of three ninety nine on the camo. Cool card. Camos, um, you probably get I don't know three per jumbo and a couple per the regular. That's cool. That's a Tops variation, Beckham Jr. You get uh, one of these per jumbo box. And I don't know about the regular. It's probably like one in three boxes or something. But but the code's got a different ending. It's uh, 50. So Beckham Jr., that's the variation. Um, let me just tear off the track. You know, i put it by that one so I know when I leave feedback. I'll just put it on top. Beckham Jr. SP Authentic Future Watch. That's out of 999. You get three of these per hobby box of 14. This is 14 SP Authentic. This is the 2000 SP Authentic design, the, the uh, Tom Brady year, so it's pretty epic. So, love those cards. Oh, that's nasty. That's a cooksy. That's purple. Um, that's the 75 on card. Beautiful. Chrome is probably the best looking set of the year, I'd say. 72 of 75 on that cook, so that's a nice one to add. And it looks like it's in gradable shape. Mm -hmm. There's another one. That is an SP Odo Beckham Jr. That thing is off centered bad. That's like 8515, guys. 8515. See that? Yeah. I don't know. I'll probably just put that in my store and list the centering issue. Because not every collector grades. I mean, somebody would like to buy it for a few less bucks <clears throat> with a slight flaw, you know? I didn't grade until 2010. I always thought it was a waste of time and stuff, and then I started sending orders to Beckett, and I was having fun with it, and since then I've just been going cra crazy with it. I've slowed down recently, but because I've been doing the boss breaks, but I'm going to send off a huge order, probably like 500 cards or something. I sent PSA a message to and told them what kind of discount I could get for like a bulk bulk order, and they, they didn't really offer one for like 500. I think you have to send in like 2,000. I was like, I don't have 2,000 cards. Uh, Bridgewater, this is the refractor version. These are 150. Beautiful card. So we're adding some teddies today. Love the 150 refractors in Chrome this year. Let's just do it this way. This is going to get messy. This is one of those. Okay, it doesn't have that stuffing in it. Oh, that's nice. That's the Beckham Jr. Chrome Black. That's two ninety nine on, on the black. Beautiful card. Working on the rainbow, folks. Just grabbing packages. Oh Jesus. That's the red. This was two fifty. Or like two forty. It's a little bit off center, but I think it could still pass for a ten. It looks like it's in great condition too. Five of twenty five on the on that one. That's nasty. That's such a tough pull, guys. Beautiful card. Yeah, that's almost impossible to pull that one. I've pulled one red in seventy boxes, if you can believe it. It was uh, Jordy Nelson in my first box, which is crazy. There's a uh, variation. That one's off-centered, too. 35-65, I'd say. I just throw out those numbers. I don't really know. But it's just, it's just my guess. That's the variation again. That, that's our third one. This mail day. So I'm just going to do them all. This mail day. This is going to be like a 
I don't know, 35 minute video. You might have to come back and watch it in segments if you get bored with it. But there's some cool shit to look at. That's the Chrome Auto. I bought this from a dude on a sports card forum. That's just tape over his helmet. But this is this is a hundred and thirty dollar card easy, I think now. When it came out it was about seventy five, so it's it's gone up about forty percent. Nice looking card though. These are not never. This is just a base auto. And I I have not pulled one in my chrome. Like two bucks. Bush Elite. Classic card. Back in 2006, this card went for $120. I remember it. When the product first came out, it was like the first one that went in auction. So if you, if you can believe that. But he had crazy hobby back in the day. Crazy hobby. Like the, the highest hobby I've seen out of any player ever. But that, that's just the way it goes. I mean, the hype on me lasts so long. I mean, he's, he's a, I think he's a good player, but... He couldn't. He couldn't meet the expectations people put on him. I mean, they were expecting him to be like Barry Sanders, and he's just not that player. Different type of player. That's nasty. Beckham Jr. That's the uh, variation auto from Tops. Love that. You can barely see the sticker because it fades in with the field. That's cool. And then I think he threw this in. No, it was an actual auction. They must have just shipped them together. That's the Breeze photo variation from Tops. I'm just going to do two more and call it a day. I've got a few more, but I'll, I'll save in front of them all day. I was going to do them all, but I don't want the video to drag too much. We'll just do these two and call it a day. That's the second one. <laughs> I saw another one of these pop up, and I got it for about the same price, about, about $150 on this one. $8 of 50 and it's got a nasty patch in it, too. SPX, that's the blue uh, version. So that's a nasty. Love SPX. So this has definitely been a Beckham Jr. Cooks. Now there. We're gonna end on Cooks. That's the refractor to 150. I've pulled this one. I I bought this uh the, the, the day before I pulled it and I was like, oh man. So this is the Cooks. 150, the refractor version, fantastic looking card. It looks like it's a good shape too. Um, I'm gonna call that a melda. That's a ton of stuff I just went through. I need to get these sorted, um, check to see what what needs to go to PSA and what needs to go in, in the store. But uh, throw me some comments on the mail day. There's some nasty stuff today. That was all backed up shit. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and the support on the channel as well.